Hi, and welcome to the world of animation. Animation is the art of taking any object or illustration and making it seem to come to life by moving it one frame at a time. Hi, I'm Mark Simon, and I'm the owner and director of A&S Animation. And we specialize in hand-drawn character animation. We work on everything from commercials to animated shorts to pieces for the web. Here at A&S Animation, we specialize in character animation. So instead of just doing logos, what we'll do is we'll take a character like this, our little Prince Charming, and we'll animate this guy, whether it's for a training video or a commercial or animated shorts, which make people laugh. One of the things that I started really loving when I was a kid was, was the magic of taking one of my drawings, I was always a cartoonist, and making it come to life and having these characters move. And then put on top of that, making people laugh and having a large group of people really enjoying what, what I'm doing is really incredible. I mean, I was a cartoonist for a while for different newspapers through Houston and different colleges, and that was great. But then to take the, the magic of animation when I was in film school and make these characters come to life it's just absolutely amazing. It's one of those things that if you really love to draw and you really get into these things, you can't stop. You just have to keep doing it. And you'll be up all night long and you'll be doing everything you can to finish these things and do more and more. And then when you get people to watch it and sit down and they laugh at what you're doing, it's great. It's, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. <laughs> Is everything we do, we actually try to make it tell a story. If it's a commercial, it's not just a shot of this and a shot of that. We try to make it some little story so there's a reason for where we start and where we end. And one of the reasons I do that is it makes it more interesting not only to watch, but to do. We've got a training video that we're doing for realtors called Castle Selling Secrets, where Prince Charming is selling his castle. And we've got modern day realtors coming in and telling them what they need to do. So rather than just having some, some character come in and say, do this, do that, do the other, We've got these really fun characters that come in and they do everything possible wrong. So you learn from the humor of what they're doing. With film, it's 24 frames per second. Video runs at 30 frames per second. So for a commercial, we'll, we're gonna be doing 900 frames to make something come to life over just 30 seconds. So the first thing that we do when we, start, uh, when we sit down and do animation is obviously work on the script. We need to know what the characters are going to do, what they're going to say. And then we design the characters. And we'll illustrate how they look in different poses. You know, saying different things, we'll do what's called expressions. If they're happy, if they're sad, if they're really mad at something, we have to figure out what they look like doing that. And then we'll build one of these. It's called a maquette. And this is used for two different things. I usually sculpt these myself because it's a lot of fun, but by the time I'm done sculpting this character in 3D, I know what the character looks like and I can draw them doing anything, so it's a process for me. But the other artists that we have that, come, that work for me, they use it so that we're all drawing the exact same character and he looks the same. It's a great reference tool. Once we have all that done, we go into doing what's called storyboarding. And storyboard is basically a comic book version of the script. So everyone has the same vision, we're all working towards the same common goal, and it tells the story in a linear fashion, and we work off of that. Now once the storyboarding is done, we go into doing what's called keyframe animation. And here we have Enoch drawing on the first keyframe. Now most of my artists aren't quite this fast, but with the magic of editing, it looks incredible. So you'll see he's doing the first keyframe of the, of the back of the character, and he's going to take another sheet of paper, put it on the peg bar, to register it and turn on the backlight so we can work on the second key drawing and the third one here using the first ones as a reference. And you'll notice he's flipping the paper back and forth so he can reference the earlier pages while he has the top light on. And keying is where we take the big extremes. If a character, let's say, I'm going to go like this, I'm going to point over there, we've got one key here, another key drawing here, and another key drawing here. Then I have another artist that comes in and draws all the other drawings that puts them together. Those are called in-betweens, so the drawings in between the keys. Then we come in and we clean them all up so they look really perfect, they look exactly like the character is supposed to look like. Then we go into the process called digital ink and paint. We take the final approved drawings and we scan them into the computer. 
and we color them all within the computer. The colored characters animation gets composited in yet another program which is where we take the character animation and we put them onto a background and we can put them onto live action video, onto photos, onto illustrations, whatever it is that we want to do and we put them all together and then we can run that off the tape and that's what you're going to see is the, uh, the final image when everything is composited together. But then there's a point that a lot of people don't realize how important it is, and that's audio. Really important. For instance, a character's voice. If you think of Homer Simpson, he's got a very specific voice. Now, if he had a very high-pitched voice, he wouldn't be the same character. He'd be completely different. So we really try to make sure we cast the right actors into the right look for the character. I need a hit ranger, dude. Yeah, another thing people don't th necessarily think about are the sound effects. Now we take sound effects and we make them as big as we possibly can. It's one thing in animation. Everything we do in animation we try to do bigger than real life. If we animated something that looked just like me moving around, well it's going to be boring. If we take audio and animation and we make it big, it's going to look pretty good. But if you make it huge, bigger than it could ever possibly be, then you're just about to the point where you need to be with animation. And sound is just the same. We want big explosions, big crashes, big hits when someone runs into a wall. It needs to be a lot bigger than just some little thump. It needs to be this huge splat and crash. That's when it's going to be really fun and you're really selling what you're doing. And music just ties the whole thing together. But of course it has to be the right type of music. It has to be the right theme, the right energy, everything that you want. And when you put all that together, the right action, the right voices, the right sound effects, it's absolutely magic. Anything is possible in animation. We can go anywhere and do anything.